Okay, if there's one area of products that's had a massive impact on the market in the next, sorry, the last four or five years, almost came from nowhere it seems, is, is compression wear. Uh, I've got on the sofa with me now Beth, who is from Sigvaris. Sigvaris are a relatively new name to me at least in terms of their compression products. Uh, they're here at the running show. We wanted to find out more. Got some interesting looking products. Best join us on the sofa. So, so Beth Sigvaris Compression. Tell us a little bit about the background uh, and where you where you guys are, are from. Yeah, we are the global leaders in medical compression. Uh, we've been around for 60 years. We were the inventors of medical compression, um, and we were asked to do some work uh, a long time ago. But mainly, um, we've kind of gone into sport in the last probably three years um, with exactly the same technology as the medical. So, yep. so the, the medical background, that's what we'd normally see in, in hospitals for use for widely for, you know, after operations and, and such like. So how um, does that get applied to a sporting context for, for both performance improvement and also I guess recovery is one of the, the big selling points of compression? Yeah, well the whole sport compression came from the medical world where you're kind of pressing the muscle to stop it vibrate. So when you have, you know, cramp, um, kind of tightness in your muscles, that's from your muscles vibrating too much. Um, but over the last few years, we've seen companies bring out a lot of compression, but they are missing the key elements of measurement, which is the ankle and the calf and the shoe size. And those are the only three measurements which guarantee the venous res uh, return, which is the only real measurement which can help with kind of flushing out the muscles of the toxins that happen when you run or bike or swim, really. Yeah, so, uh, so Varis and products, you've got a couple of examples yeah. there, just tell us a little bit about the what, what products you do and um, and particularly also for those that maybe haven't used compression, what are the, the intended benefits of, of maybe adding that to, to your wardrobe of equipment? Yeah, well, I call this the all-rounder, it's a sock made in Switzerland factories and it's made out of bamboo, charcoal and wool, so you've got all the natural uh, kind of materials to help with the thermoregulation of your, of, your, of your skin and basically the key element of the sock is that you measure your ankle and your calf and your foot size and what you want to happen in a compression stocking which a lot of them out there don't do um, is that you want the blood to basically go up your leg and back through your heart through venous return now the compression out there they will at the very most ask for your calf measurements which will mean there's some tightness on your leg which will help that you know, with that muscle vibration but it doesn't do the whole the whole works I'd say. Um, so this is one that Non Stanford used all last year and obviously we all know her, her fantastic result and she wore this on all her flights and as a recovery sock but um, depending on what sport you play you can you can use this for everything. Um, then we have Again, exactly the same kind of measurements. You have the ankle and the calf and the foot size, but obviously, as you can see, there's no foot. So you can use this under your wetsuit um, for swimming. Obviously, we try, sometimes you're not allowed, but with Iron Man, you can. Um, and you can use this for running and for cycling. And it has exactly the same technology, which um, kind of promotes venous return and stops that muscle vibration. Yeah. So it's just a simple science that's been around for decades, but it's kind of, you know, instructed in the SOP that we all know on the market. Yeah, so this is really bringing um, the, that history and the, the science of medicine and properly applying it into a sporting context. Yeah, I think we all know with sport there's a lot of uh, quotes by companies saying they do certain things and I think in a sporting world it's very hard to know the actual truth of it and again we're claiming all these things but I, what I would say is that we have all this background of medical behind us and I would say we're actually, we're not a sport company, we're a medical company producing a sport looking sock. Yeah. So that's our main kind of advantage. And in terms of uh, application and, and use, um, is it performance enhancement or um, during, uh, recovery afterwards or, or maybe using it so that you recover quicker afterwards? What, yeah. what, what are the, the ways in which compression practically can help me as a Joe Average runner, triathlete, whatever, have a, a better experience and okay. hopefully overall get faster? Okay, let's go back to the medical facts in that in normal life a lot of people are doing jobs which are sitting down, standing up, which means your blood is pooling to your feet. So say for example you've just gone for a run or a bike ride in the morning and you may not wear compression or you may, then you're then going to work and sitting down, which then kind of doesn't help your recovery. By wearing a compression sock, 
you're then enhancing that blood flow back up your legs. So that's a recovery point of view. Yeah. But what I say to athletes, and Joe Thomas is a great example, he contacted us because he wanted a recovery sock, and he ended up wearing this for every run he does now because he can feel the kind of the, t the, the tightness of his leg, which helps, you know, recovery even before he recovers. Yeah. So, I mean, I would ask people to really research their um, compression and really take care on what they're wearing because it does affect their kind of recovery time. Yeah. So if, if somebody wants to find out more about Sigvaris, obviously you're here at the show today and we've seen people yeah. at the, the stand looking at and purchasing the products. Um, if somebody wants to find out more and may, maybe buy some of the Sigvaris products, whereabouts do they go to? Uh, we got a sport website called www.sigsports.co.uk and we're also on Twitter where a load of our athletes are um, tweeting about us and in a few months time we are now the official sponsors of Team Sky so our logo will be on their website so it's easy to click through yes. and that, that so, so um, that, that should be a pretty big uh, event for you I guess because of, there's, there's, there's not really after this summer Bradley Wiggins and the Olympics and everything else uh, probably a bigger team in, in yeah. all the sport in the, maybe in the world especially in the UK than, than Team Sky so that's uh, yeah, pretty I mean, amazing uh, uh, signature because we know Dave, Dave Brailsford, the, the main man, he's not going to sign up to anything if it's not uh, going to deliver the goods. Yeah, I met him and Shane uh, last summer and they, they obviously they put me into touch with Team Sky and I had Tim Kerris and the head medical guy say, well try it on five riders and I got the list and two of them were Mark Cavendish and Bradley Wiggins so when I got the email saying that they loved them and he, Bradley was wearing them down to breakfast I was like, I had to admit I had a bit of a celebration that night. Yeah. So. Well, congratulations with that. Good luck with uh, with that sponsorship and obviously all the athletes you're, you're supporting. So, if you do want to find out more about Sig Varis, uh, we'll put the website again on the on the article at the bottom of this video, so you'll be able to go there and find out more. But Beth, thank you very much thank for you your time much. today, and uh, good luck with the with the brand in, in for the rest of the year. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks.